Chicago. Thanks, Chad. <clears throat> First off, congrats to uh, Miles um, and uh, and Nick uh, on the Golden Helmet. You know, as a uh, as a Winnick, I should say Winnick, but uh, as a West New England alum, uh, it's definitely great to, to be here and to see the success that that Coach Emery and his staff uh, have had. And uh, I'm definitely a proud alum standing here. Uh, you know, with you guys having already clinched the playoff berth for the second straight year, so. Definitely exciting stuff. Hats off to, to Keith and his staff. Um, this past weekend, we were uh, on the road down at Pace University in New York. Um, you know, it was a football team that, you know, they hadn't won a game yet this year. Uh, it was their senior day. Um, and, and they really came out uh, and they played inspired football. They gave us really all that we could handle. Um, you know, they, uh, they put a drive together uh, in, the first, uh, in the first quarter. And they were able to score first. They kicked a field goal. Um, and uh, offensively stalled a few times on some drives in plus territory. Uh, and uh, similar to, to, to some, of, some of you all, we turned the ball over twice uh, inside, you know, in the red zone. Uh, one was uh, we fumbled uh, in the red zone going in, and we, uh, we, our punter attempted a fake punt uh, that was not called um, when we were backed up on our own 20-yard line. Uh, that gave them the ball, uh, you know, in plus territory. Uh, fortunately, on the very next play, we were able to force a fumble and recover um, and, and uh, come away unscathed. Um, and later on in the game, in the second quarter, a uh, senior safety for us, Justin Kaffenberger from Monroe, New York, out of Monroe Woodbury High School, had an interception um, to redeem himself after the faked punt. And uh, the very next play, we were able to score a touchdown. Uh, freshman receiver for us, Andrew Jamil, uh, return from injury, uh, and he scored the touchdown on a 23-yard play. He finished the game with 11 catches for 110 yards and a touchdown. Um, Andrew's having a tremendous year. He, he's missed the game due to injury, uh, so he's only played nine games. He has 86 catches right now. Um, he's five catches shy of, of our school record, um, and he's actually seven receptions shy of the uh, NCAA Division II freshman record. Um, and, and he's just done a tremendous job for us. Uh, and he really plays beyond his ears, so we're, we're very fortunate to have him uh, a, a playmaker like that for us in the slot and to have him for the next couple years. Um, towards the end of the game, it was a, a very tight ball game. They scored with, uh, with about 35, 36 seconds left in the game to tie it up at 10 all to send it to overtime. Um, and our guys really rallied in overtime. The second play of overtime, uh, sophomore tight end for us, Caleb Lutton. Uh, from Xavier High School in Connecticut, had a 21-yard touchdown catch over the middle, broke a tackle from the safety. Um, and then uh, our defense was able to hold and force them to four and out uh, on their drive. So uh, it was good to come away, you know, an overnight trip uh, to come away with a win. Um, and, uh, and as Coach alluded to, it, it set us up for uh, a chance to play, um, to play belly again. And obviously we're uh, traveling right up the road to, to, to play them. And, um, you know, lost a tough game versus them a couple weeks ago. And, uh, you know, this is a big game for our program, for our alumni bases, for our, uh, for our schools. Um, and it's always been a tough, very hard-fought game. You know, Coach Cavanaugh has done a great job with them. Um, and we're expecting everything that we can handle and more. Um, so I'm sure it's going to be an exciting atmosphere on Saturday. Um, and two really, really tough uh, football teams going head-to-head. -head. So we're excited for the opportunity. Uh, again, best of luck to everybody else uh, this weekend, and congrats again to Miles and Nick on the Golden Helmet.